What's up, guys? Fours, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours, the true love force, the Scarander. And today we're going against Swaglet in a league based battle in the NUCL, which is actually a team that I got to take over for two days or two weeks. Uh, for another player known as Thrizzleman, which is also a player that I've been going up against, and um, he had to go over his team. Uh, he had a very, very aggressive team, and he actually had the Hippopotas Stoutling combo, so I knew exactly what to rely on. And going up against my opponents here, I knew that his team is really, really, really bulky, and I knew he was gonna win by that alone. Like, his stamina beats my team, no matter how I pull it off. So, the only thing I had in mind was to try to pull off a Minerva set. Which is, of course, a very calm mind stored power set with rest. And that was my general idea. Like, I knew he's gonna use Gramble. But look at the team here. We got Aurora's, Gorgai's, Alteria, Regigigas, and Mesprit. So, very thick, very bulky, strong, really. And he had five wins in a row uh, going into this battle. So, I was. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping that I at least didn't lo lose 5 to 6 0. That was the only thing I had. Like I said, I only have one strategy. If that strategy fails, then it's very likely I'm going to lose. Um, Stoutland is a good counter, but his Pokemon just can deal with that. All of them can deal with that, and I knew that going in. So, uh, yeah. With all of this in mind, I just go into Hope to set up rocks and pull off that Calm mindset. Uh, but yeah, you guys will see that it, that is not that easy. So anyway, let's go. So, I'm going to start with Simisage, because I'm... Fairly honest here, I'm going to outspeed a lot of his team, but he's gonna start with Churchill, which is the Gramble. I was really ah, ah. I'm of course physically oriented. Even though I have access to the likes of Gunk Shot, I am not gonna get myself paralyzed because I can't really kill him. Uh, now he did kind of see that one coming. Uh, while I do go for the Sandstream here, uh, he will actually decide to go for Play Rough instead. Though we just miss it, obviously it's not gonna really matter. But he was prepared for the situation like this. He really, really, really were. Because I'll, of course, try to go for Stealth Rocks. He's gonna taunt me. And that sucks. That sucks so much. Because, like I said, I needed those rocks up. I really needed something like that to kind of... Well, to kind of avoid like a tougher situation. Of course, with the Sandstorm and whatnot. Even though I break his potential... Okay, well, of course, he doesn't have any Sash. But he's recovering everything I can do against him. With, of course, the um, life orbs. So anyway, he's going to go for Super Fang against my Typhoon, my special oriented um, Super, Super Striker, uh, yeah. And that was not good at all. I was like, oh, you are just fragile as it is. Why? Why did that have to happen? A very nice call, of course, my against opponent from my opponent there, Swaglet. And as of right now, I'm doing really, really badly. And so he's going to go to Extinct with the Aurora's. And I decided to go for a bolt switch, and he of course gonna take away the snow, and that's fine uh, because then at least it doesn't have the special defense uh, race that is um, if the sand is up. But as you guys can see, there is not. I mean, I, I'm I'm specs and all, so that's definitely a salt vest. So I was like, oh no, I can't uh, I can't compete with that. So I decided here to go into my hippopotas, and he decides to withdraw. I get that. Uh, I took the chance here to uh, actually set up my rocks because I really, really needed that. And I was basically hoping that I was able to outspeed and then kind of lose uh, Aurora's or my Popotas in the process. He's going to go for Draco. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, ah, oh, shit, ah, oh, shit. And boom! That's that. That's that. But anyway, don't fear, guys. Don't fear. Um. Because I get the old gold opportunity here to try out to set up with my Minerva. So I'm gonna speed this up a bit. And you guys will see something glorious. I know it's very likely that he'll go to Gramble. And uh, yeah, I have competitive after all and not the Infiltrators. I get a major boost there to my special attack. Don't care for my attack, that is. And I'm gonna basically try to go for two barriers to be able to wall this uh, Gramble completely. And I mean completely. So I'll go for Super Fang. That's fine. And I'll now take the opportunity to go for the Call Mind because I need all the strengths I can get and I really want to see how much a play rough really do. And I was scared of a potential Thunder Wave, but as you guys saw there, there is not a lot happening there. And I decided now to write, I'm actually fine going for Rest then, since it didn't showcase the T-Wave. And of course I'm Resto Chesto, he'll go for the Taunt, that's fine. 
because now it's time for restore the power and boom that's one dead gramble so yeah bye bye boy so at least now we're 5 for 5 so he's gonna go to his extinct again the roars and I was fairly sure that even with Assault Vest that I could take it out from this range since it's weak to rocks and all so I was thinking oh, come on come on this has gotta go down right right well, I go for my stored power, and strength is there, but it is not enough, and he will actually survive with a slitter health. He'll go for the blizzard, and it actually do hurt since I haven't really gone for you know a lot of coal mines or anything like that. Though I'm still in a fairly good position, of course. And we're gonna try this one more time. Coal mine, go or stored power, close enough. And the roars is out of the way, so the extinct is extinct. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, that felt really good, so now at least 5 or 4, so I'm feeling that, alright, he has not a lot to stop me. So it's gonna go to Pixel Sticks, and now I did predict this thing being uh, specially oriented, so I took the chance to go for a Call Mine. Now, he goes for U-Turn, and being that he goes for U-Turn before me means that he's scarfed. And that also means that I ne not necessarily need to fear it as much. So he's gonna go to his Reggie Kickass. Well, I set up my beautiful, beautiful Calm Mine because Minerva is calm. The barrier is up and she's feeling calm. That makes no sense. But anyway, a Calm Mine needs something else, and that is a power that I stored. That I stored for you for ages, Reggie Kickass. You have no chance of taking this. And uh, yeah, to be honest, while this is going on, I felt like this was a really, really cheap tactics. And um, as of right now, it really is working. It really is working. Ready, Gigas? You are not taking this. You are out. And um, I do believe he only has three Pokémon left, and that is the Alteria. Let's see, Alteria, Misprit, and of course the Gorgeist, which is really, really intimidating. Now he'll go for Cloud Nine. It obviously is not going to matter because my store power is going to boom. Boom! Get rid of him! And, um, <laughs> that is Alteria out of the way. Now, I do come to a position here where I have actually a low amount of HP, so I do decide here to actually speed this up a bit because, uh, well, let's face it, it's not really fun watching me sleep. So we'll go for knockoff. It's not gonna do a whole lot since I already lost my item and it kinda <laughs> gets sad. So it's gonna go to Senpai, which is a goal, guys. I'll sleep for one more turn. But what do you know, I will wake up, and when I wake up, you will die. And that is the Gore guys, out of the way. So his last Pokemon is the Mesprit, and let's face it, even with a given circumstance, the Mesprit is not going to be able to deal with his damage anyway. So that is a complete sweep by Minerva. And I know you guys have been asking me why I don't use the Minerva set that often, and I'm going to hold this one true. It's because of this. When it works, it works, and usually it is a complete sweep, which also means that I usually don't like uploading it, but this was definitely one of the... Um, what would I call it? Um, one of the times I really wanted to showcase it, because it was a league-based battle, and it was against Swaglet, which I never win against. Mind you, he won against me every time, this is the first time I beat him, I believe. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really happy about this win, of course. Uh, it's not really helping me as much as it did for Drizzleman, but I'm gonna be honest and say that there was one hell of a gamble to pull this off. Because like I said before going into this battle, I didn't have anything, and I mean anything, to be able to kind of stop my opponent. And I knew that going in that it's not likely, but the thing I did know was that if I can pull off something like this, then I should be able to win, he shouldn't be able to keep up with this. And uh, yeah, it paid off. And I'm fairly, he was really, really upset about this loss because he didn't really play bad. It was, I was being sheep. I knew I was being sheep. And like I said before, the wins with Minerva looks like this. So that's why I re rarely do upload them. It was actually quite some time ago I actually used this set because it's really good. It really, really is one of the best sets for Meowstic. While I do leave myself open for dark types, which you guys might agree on, that's the very point of it. You really need to have fighting types and bug types to be able to void off the things that can stop the Meowstic. 
and if they got nothing, then they can't stop it. It is just that good. Resto Chesto is a given, if anything, uh, because I did have single beam uh, to some extent. We cannot try to avoid off the dark types. It's not worth it. Uh, go for the recovery. I mean, it just it just knocks it out of the park. What makes Meowsix such a good store power Pokemon is not that it's especially bulky because it isn't. It is that it's fast. It is really fast. It outspeeds so many Pokemon. That's what it's set works so well. Because once you all set up, it's not very likely that you can outspeed it to kill it. It just it goes first. And that's what I like this set. So anyway, I want to thank for watching, guys, and I want to thank Marcus for the battle. I have a video where he will redeem himself. Don't you guys worry. Um, like I said, I think this is the first time I beat him. I have like four other battles against him where I don't win. Uh, so keep that in mind, actually. Uh, so anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget, of course, to leave a like. It does help me out so much. And other than that, thank you for watching, guys. And remember, the sky's the limit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.